how to use Jira product discovery. Okay, so what's Jira product discovery? So uh, it's a product management app for you to use to track your product um, features and launching and working uh, management. So this is a lot like other management apps. You have your uh, views and in those views, you can select the data uh, that you want to present and how you want to display them. But the powerful thing about Jira product discovery is that you can uh, add more information based on the uh, the insights as they would call it to your new uh, features in your uh, product discovery so from hindsight you might be able to tell that jira product discovery is more geared to more geared towards a software product and this is true because uh, i think you will get the most benefit out of uh, jira product discovery if you have a software app now, for example, uh, let's go to the views over here, and this is the all ideas. And uh, in this view, you uh, have a list of your complete ideas, right? And this is the summary. And now uh, uh, here are a few sample ideas. Now, one of the idea is new rewards program, and the other is express checkout, improved waiting list experience. Now, this sounds a lot like an e-commerce app, right? And you have your goal over here. You have your comments, insights, impact, and effort, and then roadmap. So um, it has a full list of you, the aspects inside of your product uh, development idea. So you can have your summary, you can have your goal, you can have the comments of your team. By the way, Jira Product Discovery is a collaborative app, so you can invite uh, your team member to uh, edit your discovery project. And you have your insights. Insights being this list of um, of information that you gather from everywhere. Uh, by the way, they even have a uh, Chrome extension for you to use to capture uh, texts and contents uh, from the internet and put them as an insight for one of your product idea in uh, Jira product discovery, so pretty neat. Now, okay, so next is impact and effort and roadmap. Now, all of these uh, columns and rows are uh, are customizable in Jira. So, uh, why would you want to add the impact and effort uh, sort of like this bar chart over here is to uh, compare the impact versus uh, effort, uh, the effort to put out the uh, the new feature to your product. So, for example, this has a very high impact the new rewards program and it has and it requires a little ex, uh, effort now uh, from those two considerations you uh, can decide your priorities so that is the general idea now let's see uh, let's add a new view let's add a new fields over here now if you scroll down there are a lot of fields you can even add uh, things like impact score and idea a short description or customer segments if you're uh, if you uh, if you cater to a lot of uh, uh, cater to the general public so let's let's add impact score now now the impact score is I would say the ratio between the impact and the effort and once again the impact score will help you determine the priority of that new idea so if you see uh, if we go to another view here here is which is the impact assessment uh, it has a more detailed view of your uh, product uh, ideas and their impact and this way you can have uh, a better information on the priority of your new uh, product feature ideas and over here you have your impact versus effort uh, presented in a chart over here so 
you know that the higher the idea is and the more it is to the left the better it is and the higher the priorities are right next is the product uh, roadmap which is your typical kanban board this is very useful to keep track of the progresses of the uh, ideas that you want to put out for your uh, program and next is the product timeline which is uh, a timeline to uh, add time context to all of your product ideas. Next is the delivery status. Now the delivery status is especially useful uh, for your maybe your marketing team or your um, your supervisors to see because this provides a bird's eye view on the prog progress of this project. So basically I, what I show you is the examples, uh, the example setup of how you would you want to uh, use Jira product discovery. And now I'm going to give you an example of the workflow uh, to use this product discovery uh, app. So let's say for example, you have a new idea. Uh, let's see, let's add a new idea over here and by clicking create an idea. And in this idea, you might want to uh, add the summary of the idea. So. For example, you want to add uh, free shipping. Now, algorithm maybe, because we're feeling savvy over here. Now you want to add the goal over here. So naturally you want to add the goal. Now the goal is to delight users, right, of course. And you can add comments, but uh, the comment section is naturally uh, are for those who see your new idea, uh, which is your teammate. And then you can add insights over here. So for example, maybe you're uh, looking at a new site in a website. So let's go ahead and find uh, another website, for example. And then you find the, you find an insight in that website article, you can add it here. So you can capture insight using Chrome extension, your Slack app or your Teams app. Just create an insight uh, by using the extension and you can have basically a website snippet of the findings that you have in the insights over here. Also, your maybe if you do so choose, you can, you can add your insight from, uh, as you can see, Slack app or Teams app. This is maybe for the case of interviews with users. You can also add an insight from that, which is uh, also great because it's a direct uh, feedback and you can categorize the impact and maybe the impact is high, but uh, the effort is also high because you need to like coordinate with a lot of things. Now, once you've created and you've populated the uh, data of your idea, like the property of your idea, you can set the uh, priority of your idea. So whether uh, your team need to do it now, next or, la or later or won't do depending on your team's uh, timeline and priority, right? So let's say, let's do it later, right? And that's pretty much it. You add ideas over here. You see the impact assessment in the other view, the impact versus uh, effort to further uh, clarify, clarify which uh, product, which uh, features to put out first and features to do first and then you add product uh, you see a product roadmap to see a burst eye view on the progress timeline for its um, time context and the delivery status for the overview of your team's productivity and so that's pretty much it that's how Jira product discovery is intended uh, to be used However, you can uh, be as creative as you would like uh, using it, so to say. Okay, so that's all for me. Thank you.